Hey, this is the family i 2 i Today I'm going to talk about a project I did where I rejig some parts between my main computer, which I'm showing on the screen here, and the children's computer that I have, and to build myself a home server. So this machine that I've got here has uh, got a six core CPU in it with a hard drive and SSD. And what I intend to do is take some of these components out and put them into the server. Let's just have a look inside here. So you can see there's a aftermarket CPU cooler there, a DVD drive, reasonable graphics card, and yes, there's the SSD drive and one terabyte hard drive. And in this machine, uh, in terms of a power supply, I have a Corsair CX430, as it says on the screen. Now this is the machine that I'm going to be exchanging part with that are currently belongs to my children. Um, inside here we've got uh, a dual core AMD processor, um, a low powered graphics card with a homemade cooling solution on that card, and uh, a more powerful 500 watt power supply. So I'm planning to move that to the other machine. And here, after we've done all the work, you can see my main machine has now got the much more powerful and appropriate power supply for it. I've taken that hard drive out, so just leaving the SSD. And uh, I use this machine in a room where I can't get access to the internet at the moment, but I'll show you how I do that at the moment. I use a little wireless plugged in device to get through to the internet. Now, here is the machine that was my kid's PC, which is now turned into server. So I've taken that graphics card out, as you don't need it. It's got a much more appropriate 430 watt power supply in there. And as you can see, I've moved that one terabyte hard drive into this machine as well. So next step is to install a suitable operating system. I'm going to use Ubuntu because that gives all of the features that we need. And of course it's free. So what I'm going to be doing with my server is have a central place where I'm going to store all my music and pictures so that they're accessible from all of the other computers rather than having local copies. And the other thing I want to do is you create a Plex media server so that we can uh, watch all of our home movies and DVDs. So on my home server, I've created three different file shares. One where I've put all my movies, and I've organized them by age. Another area where I've put all my TV shows that I've ripped from my DVDs, I have. And another area which is a general file storage area which has various files and things in. I have my pictures and music, again from DVD CDs that I own. And here is my Plex server that I have set up. As you can see, it goes in and then shows you, in my case, all of the uh, movies and TV shows that I've. Uh, ripped from the DVDs that I own. So. Yeah. And you could play it as well. But I'm not going to do that. So there you have it. That's my home server. It's made managing files across multiple machines a thing of the past and it's a lot easier to live with. So I'm very happy with it. Bye and thanks for watching.